Almost every morning, Albanian Prime Minister Edirama greets his followers with a video from a local beach. The idea is to promote the country's unique tourism destinations that the government has carefully created. The Maldives of Europe, the Caribbean of Europe, just some of the nicknames Albania has gained as tourism booms. Visitors come to the small Adriatic country for its pristine sandy beaches, scenic rock landscapes and much lower prices than in more established destinations like Italy and France. It's my first time here and basically my group of friends and I likes to spend time together and we just thought why not Albania because it's a, so it's a trendy place right now and we wanted to take a look uh, to see how it is. The World Tourism Organization ranks Albania first in Europe and third worldwide for tourism growth with Qatar and Saudi Arabia in the first place due to international events. Instead of quantity, Albanian tourist officials say they are focusing on attracting quality tourism. Albania is striving to attract quality tourists. Our aim is to attract tourists who stay for more than five nights, preferably no less than the three nights, and who, through their daily expenses, contribute substantially. It's not always been like this. For decades, Albanian all but banned. Everyone. The most isolated country in Europe, the Balkan nation didn't open its door until the late 80s, existing as a communist state closed off to the rest of the world. When its Stalinist leader Enver Hoxha died in 1985, tourists started to tickle in, but it was hardly speedy boarding. By 1990s, only 10,000 people were heading to Albania each year. Foreign tourists are drawn not only for the beaches, but also by curiosity for the unknown. Albania is in Europe, but it's very atypical for them. It's uh, a culture which is strong and uh, some nice landscapes and also a cult uh, cultural respect that people don't know. So they want to discover because, uh, for example, for a French tourist or a German tourist, when they go to Czech Republic, they go to Italy, it's something that they know what to expect. And uh, Albania, they have really no clue. And that's what they like also, it's to discover a new land which is really unknown, which was blocked and closed for long, long years, and now it's quite open to tourism, it's booming. Albania's Balkan neighbors also hope to get in on the act. But for now, the tourism board are happy to let the pictures do the talking and hope that the novelty destination value will not wear off anytime soon. Abdul Wahab, UP, TRT World.